हेलो एवरी वन इन टूडेज लेक्चर विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड द टेम्परेचर मेजरमेंट नाउ फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड टेम्परेचर एंड फॉर दिस विल कंसिडर टू सिस्टम से सिस्टम ए एंड सिस्टम बी नाउ दिस सिस्टम ए इज हैविंग द थर्मोडाइनमिक प्रॉपर्टीज पी वन वी वन टी वन एंड सिस्टम बी इज हैविंग द थर्मोडाइनमिक प्रॉपर्टीज पी टू वी टू टी टू now these two systems are made to interact with each other through an adiabatic wall adiabatic wall is a wall which don't allow the heat transfer all right now because of this adiabatic wall you will see that there is no change in thermodynamic properties of the two systems even after a long time all right now let us replace this adiabatic wall by a diathermic wall diathermic wall means a wall which allows heat transfer so we observe that there will be rapid heat transfer from the higher temperature body to lower temperature body finally changes stop and both the system comes to an equilibrium state now in the equilibrium condition there will be no further heat transfer between the two systems and the temperatures of two bodies will be the same so in this way a equilibrium state is attained between two systems by exchange of a property that is temperature so remember whenever two systems comes in contact with each other they will be in thermal equilibrium after some time now so now don't get confused between heat and temperature heat and temperature are two different quantities the basic difference between heat and temperature is that heat is a form of energy that transfers from hot body to a cold body while temperature is the degree of hotness and coldness of a body so remember heat flows from hot body to cold body while temperature rises when heated and falls down when an object is cooled down also the si unit of heat is measured in joules while the si unit of temperature is kelvin hope you understood the difference between heat and the temperature now in order to find the heat in a substance means we need to measure the temperature of that substance so now this temperatures can be measured by many scales mainly there are three scales which we use they are kelvin scale celsius scale and fahrenheit scale so by using this scales we can measure the temperature also the name of the scale is derived by the name of the different scientist as the name is different the degree of measurement is also different the main difference you can see that in kelvin scale you will not find any degree sign whereas in celsius and the fahrenheit scale you will find the degree sign so we read it as degree celsius or degree fahrenheit so you can read the scale as 0 kelvin 0 degree celsius or 32 degree fahrenheit first let us see the kelvin scale here 0 kelvin means absolute zero temperature absolute zero means the energy of any molecules is zero at this particular point or we can also say that it is very less in most of our basic laws or fundamental laws we are using this kelvin scale so 0 kelvin means absolute zero temperature or lowest minimum energy of any molecules or kinetic energy of that molecule will be about zero so if we measure this in degree celsius it is around minus 273 degree celsius that means at this point it is absolute zero temperature and if we measure it in degree fahrenheit it is about minus 459.67 degree fahrenheit now next is the 273 kelvin this uh, kelvin 273 it measures the 
freezing point of water means where the water starts freezing or where the water starts forming ice so if we measure it in degree celsius it will be 0 degree celsius and in fahrenheit it will be 32 degree fahrenheit where the water gets converted into ice next we know that the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius so this 100 degree celsius in fahrenheit we will read it as 212 degree fahrenheit whereas in kelvin scale we will read it as 373 kelvin so with this you might have understood boiling point, freezing point and absolute temperature of all are same. But with different measuring scale, the measurement will be different. Usually in US, Canada and all, they prefer uh, degree Fahrenheit. But in other countries, they usually prefer degree Celsius. And Kelvin scales are usually used where we need to find the fundamental laws. Now, if we want to convert degree Celsius to Kelvin, there is a relation that Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273. Or if we want to convert it into degree Celsius, we have the relation Kelvin minus 273. Similarly, to convert degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, we have the relation degree celsius we have to find means we have the relation 5 upon 9 multiply by degree fahrenheit minus 32 similarly if we wanted to convert it into degree fahrenheit we will have c uh, degree celsius plus 32 multiply by 9 by 5 so this is how we measure the uh, temperatures and how we convert it into Kelvin or we convert it into Fahrenheit. Hope you understood all the temperature measurements and the scale. Thank you for watching the video. In my next video, I will be discussing about the point function and the path function.